Let's talk about business credit. And I want to give you the nuts and bolts that you got to know into the in today's world, especially this year. So you can actually build credit a lot faster, no matter where you are at, whether you are in New York or you, you are, you are, let's say in uh, Delaware, the business credit uh, hacks that I'm going to share with you into this conversation will help you actually uh, get funding a, a lot faster and also increase your pay desk score to at least 80 or 90, even, even 95, totally possible. So here are the basics I want you to pay attention to. So when we talk about business credit, you have to really understand that it's not just about uh, you actually get, getting your next business credit card or you actually getting your, best, your, your next business loan or business loan of credit. No, business credit is kind of important because uh, when uh, the economy goes up or down, vendors, customers pay attention to the reputation of uh, the, their business partners. So a business, a business credit score, a good business credit score will actually establish you in terms of reputation. So it's not just about finding out whether the company is financially healthy. Of course, that matters a lot. But when we talk about business credit, we're talking about a constellation of factors that they really affect your business by by far. So when somebody actually, when a, when a customer or a vendor, or let's say a lender pays attention to your business credit score, whether he or she goes to uh, Paydex, I mean, he or she goes to uh, Dun & Bradstreet, goes to Experian Business or Equifax Business, the, 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 your business credit score will, will show a, um, a series of, uh, of benchmarking items, such as your ability to, repay, to, to pay, your ability to pay on time, your DTI, your debt-to-income ratio, your company's debt-to-income ratio, your company's CUR, but most importantly, you, you are going to have a, a series of uh, extra financial uh, items, such as uh, have you filed bankruptcy before? Are you is your business a party to a lawsuit? So you have uh, all kinds of uh, pieces of information that are actually recorded in your business credit. So it's important to understand when we talk about business credit, it's not just about you having an EIN. It's not just about you actually paying your credit cards on time, your business credit cards on time, or actually paying your business lines of credit on time. It's about just making sure that you are actually maintaining a positive reputation for your business overall. Okay. Because uh, I mean, your your company's presence on social on social media, those can affect your uh, your partners, your business partners, in the long run, but also in the short run. Let me explain to you how to establish business credit faster. I mean, I mean, a lot of folks tell you how to establish business credit, but they do not act, actually tell you how to do it faster. I mean, if you if you are, if you have a, a single member LLC, you have a a multi-member LLC, an S corporation, a C corporation, even a sole proprietorship, it's important for you to actually think about establishing business credit because this will allow you, especially if you if you are a sole proprietorship, this will allow you to actually transition into a into a regular business if you if you uh, desire to do so at at some point. So it's important to really understand that when we talk about business credit, we are speaking about having trade lines, we are speaking about business credit cards. We are speaking about business loans. We are speaking about uh, also having uh, a uh, some kind of information recorded in uh, Experian business credit, in Equifax business credit, but also Dun & Bradstreet. So that's important. Those three top, those are the three top uh, business credit uh, agencies. And uh, so, how do you ensure that creditors and suppliers can validate your business information? Because it's important. Because everything starts with that. If you want to build business credit, you got to really validate your business information. You got to have clear business information so that your partners, the stakeholders, the regulators know that you are legit. That's what that means. Now, how do you do that? How do you validate your business information? And actually as a preliminary uh, step in actually uh, building business credit, you want to incorporate or form an LLC, an S corporation or a C corporation to ensure that your company is seen as a separate business entity. You got to really segregate actually your business from your personal affairs, your business affairs from your personal affairs. And you, and you got to do this from the get go. Don't try to do it after a while. Like, you know, don't, don't start running your business as a sole, as a sole proprietorship and then actually change later on. No, you, you, you start right off the bat. You want to obtain a federal employer identification number an EIN. You want to open business bank accounts and uh, you want to have the bank accounts in your legal business name. And you want to set up a dedicated business phone line in your business name and make sure it is listed. I mean, you can also have it listed in a Google My Business GMB so that when people actually search for for stuff, 
online and locally, your business actually comes up. Your business info comes up. The thing is that when we talk about building business score, you have to really understand that you know, we, we have no idea what kind of data goes into uh, the exact business credit score that each of those three uh, players actually publishes, right? So credit scores are, about, by definition, complex statistical models for predicting credit risk. I mean, what is credit risk? Credit risk is uh, your ability or inability to pay a loan, a credit card, or a line of credit that you are actually advanced or even a trade line that you are advanced. In other words, you do not pay on time or, or you do not pay at all. So there is really no guaranteed way to improve a business credit score. But if there are certain things that you can do routinely and consistently, and that will help you actually uh, establish credit, business credit, and actually uh, in improve it over time. One thing you want to do is you want to check your business credit report regularly and verify that the information is an accurate uh, and, uh, and, and tip top ship updated form, right? That means you might have to pay for it. You might have to actually uh, subscribe to, uh, but this, see, this is a very good investment, right? This is a good investment because you are actually tracking your financial financial health, or at least what the, the business credit bureaus are reporting about your financial health, about your business financial health. So you want to subscribe to Down and Bright Street, to Equifax, and to Experian, so that every month they'll they'll communicate with you like uh, what your business credit score is, or they could probably just give you access to that info on a continuous basis. So you want to establish business credit with companies that report trades. Remember, not all business creditors will report their trade information because for them, it's actually a, an additional cost. So you got to give them an incentive for them to report you. And so after you have established that part, you want to pay your creditors on time. And when you think about the payday, your, your payday credit score, or your uh, Intellis score, Equifax, your experience business credit score, historical payment behavior with previous creditors plays a major role in calculating your business credit score. And so you also want to try to keep your credit balance at 20% to 30% of your credit limit. Here we are speaking about CUR, credit utilization ratio. So this actually applies to credit cards and lines of credits. And make sure that your vendors are reporting your payments to build a positive credit history to the credit reporting agencies. And if need be, you have to actually uh, give them a call uh, once a month and say, hey, listen, here I am. It's, a, it's the fifth of the month. I mean, I send you a check uh, by the 30th. I saw, the, I saw the, that the check actually cleared. Did you, could, could you please actually report my payment to the credit bureaus? I mean, you know, very simple as that. Now, when we talk about business credit, it's important to understand that a business credit score is actually a determined using a, a proprietary uh, score, a proprietary sort of set of uh, calculations models. Of course, that makes sense. Those calculation models have to be a proprietary because those business credit bureaus are actually protecting their intellectual property. And if, if they want to protect their intellectual property, they have to actually hide a little bit. But what we have seen is that bit, Based on our research, our own research, but also based on uh, research by other um, other experts, we have seen that business credit scores range from 0 to 100, with 0 representing a high risk and 100 representing a, a low risk. And so generally, business credit scores above 75% are considered excellent, even though for PDEX, they want you to have 80. If you have 80 for, eight, for PDEX, you are seen as a, as a low to uh, moderate risk. And that's what... That's the, the sweet spot where you want to be at, okay? And uh, so w when we talk about PIDEX or IntelliScore or Experian, uh, Experian business, business Credit Score, your score is determined actually by a constellation of uh, factors. So your Experian Credit Score is uh, calculated by a statistically derived algorithm designed to determine risk based on multiple factors. So for instance, you have a uh, credit so credit actually is kind of interesting because it's actually the number of uh, trade experiences, balances, outstanding payment habits, credit utilizations, and trends over time. So when I talk about number of trade ex experiences, here we are speaking about net 30 accounts. Balances outstanding. We are speaking about lines of credit, but also uh, business loans, business lines of credit, but also business loans. 
in terms of uh, payment habits, of course, this is self-explanatory. You also have credit utilization and trends over time. Now, credit utilization actually has to deal with a CUR. So this is important. And you want to keep it to a, a little earlier, between 20 and 30%. You got to also think about public records. So the recency, the frequency, and dollar amounts associated with uh, lanes, judgments, and bankruptcies that uh, your business was uh, associated with. You also have demographic information, so years on file, standard industrial classification code, the SIC code, and business size. So if your industry uh, if your industry has a high rate of, let's say, bankruptcies, you know, lenders are going to actually uh, be a little scared. And uh, Experian, Equifax, and Dun & Bradstreet will uh, actually uh, lower your business credit score because you are in a contextual risk uh, environment that is not really conducive to uh, payment uh, like payment assiduity so as you're trying to really build business credit you have to really ask yourself how long will data remain on business credit reports right because if you're trying to really uh, let's say you you have a good a good payment history and you realize oh the history was just there for two two years or three years that's pretty discouraging so you got to ask yourself and see the thing is you also got to really make sure that you have uh, quote unquote the right vendors and those vendors are are not only thinking about reporting your data but also uh, your business's data but also thinking about s- solidifying their relationship with you because with no relationship there is no um, need to report data so you got to first buttress you got to first like uh make like tight you have to tighten the relationship with your vendors before you start thinking about um, looking at data on your business credit report. And so so whether you have Experian, Equifax, or or um, Down and Bradstreet, they actually have uh, different gu- different guidelines. But it's important to understand that uh, the standard industry and government guidelines for keeping data on file actually are pretty straightforward. And uh, so it's important to understand that uh, the, the data actually will help you actually know how quickly data will uh, vanish off your business credit report and how long they will stay there. So dating data ensures that the information presented in the report is current enough to create an accurate picture of financial health. Because when we talk about having an accurate picture of financial health, we are speaking directly or indirectly about what? About uh, risk mitigation. So treat data three years, bankruptcies nine years and, and nine months, judgments six years and nine months, tax liens six years and nine months. We'll put this on the screen so you can see it. You, the UCC filings, five years, collections, six years and nine months, bank, government, and leasing data, three years. So this is actually the uh, the time frame. So how do you actually protect your business credit? I mean, let's say that you are you are located somewhere in Hawaii or somewhere in uh, in uh, Chicago, and you just want to really protect your business credit because you realize that's the only thing that you have that is going to help you actually grow your business, or maybe because uh, you are in a sector where uh, vendors and customers are really pay attention to your comp- to, to a company's business credit. So, I mean, you know it's important to check your personal credit report. But did you know that it's just as important to make sure your business credit report accurately reflects uh, the status of your small business's credit? The amount of credit and the terms or rate offered will be determined by your business credit history and score, right? So it really, it's an important element because if you're going to borrow, let's say you're going to borrow uh, $100,000, it makes a big difference between paying, let's say, $5,000 a month or paying uh, three thousand dollars a month right so here we have a delta of two thousand that's really uh, that's really uh that's really high okay so it's also vital that you monitor your business credit for this reasons just as you monitor your suppliers credit rating your customers also monitor yours so you could be losing business without even real real uh, realizing it with increases in commercial credit fraud, it's important to monitor your business credit report for transactions that you did not initiate. So, and the cool thing is, with uh, all three uh, business credit rate bureaus, Experian, Dun & Bradstreet, and uh, Equifax, you can keep track of your own company's business credit in the same way that you monitor your customers and, uh, and suppliers. So that, that really gives you more flexibility. 
So starting today, you and it doesn't matter the, the size of your business, whether you have a small business or a large business or a mid-sized business, or let's say you are actually operating out of a small city or a, a big city or a mid-sized city, you have to really uh, adopt the same methodology. So proactively monitor business credit uh, can help you check for completeness and accuracy. Learn how your business compares with others in your industry. So this actually uh, introduces an element of benchmarking. You also need to uh, examine the strengths and weaknesses of your file. Develop a strategy to improve your, your company's credit rating. Have better control uh, of uh, risk. Allocate funds more efficiently. That's going to help you in terms of cash inflows and cash outflows. And build a stronger customer relationship. And the cool thing is that if you have a, if you sign up with a, a service with either Don and Price Street or Equifax or, or Experian, you can receive alerts regarding new derogatory information and prioritize risk. You can purchase online business credit reports to monitor the health of your small business or let's say to make the insightful decisions about prospective business partners, customer, customers, and uh, suppliers. And it doesn't matter if it's happening in the short run or in the long run. Now, let's close to this conversation by actually uh, talking about business credit and how do you correct it. I mean, obviously, business credit is a, is a human uh, activity. It's a human initiative. And there could be mistakes, right? There could be some, a little bit of a little bit of blunders here and there. Who knows? So if you need to dispute certain details on your business credit report, you have to actually contact either Don and Bradstreet, Commercial Relations, Equifax, Commercial Relations, or Experian, Commercial Relations, and you have to do so in writing. And uh, you need to provide all of the following on the report. You want to circle the specific items in question and provide the correct information. Provide supporting documentation when, when available, right? If you say something is wrong, you can't just uh, actually uh, say it's wrong and, and uh, not provide, not actually back it up, right? Let's say, for instance, you say that basically uh, you owe you owe five thousand dollars, and uh, the business credit report put that you owe ten thousand dollars. Maybe because they did not actually uh, update the records that you have actually paid half uh, half of the uh, of the loan amount. So what you want to do is you want to actually print out. I mean, you can also send it out electronically, but they love they love to have mail in in, in those occasions. So you want to print out and uh, and uh, mail to them a copy of your 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 last three bank statements, or you can have like a, with, with and, and you need to clearly highlight the the the, the check that went to uh, pay the loan, or you can have a an, an acknowledgement from uh, the bank that. The loan has been repaid or has been paid or they can show like the statement the loan statement how much you owe as of the date of this of uh of the letter right and as you also want to list your company's current and previous addresses physical and post office box addresses for the past 10 years and uh so and you also want to provide the signature and the phone number of an officer of the company and what you, what happens here is that you have to send actually uh all this pack, all this package to uh, either Don and Bradstreet, Equifax, and Experian. Of course, their mailing address for business credit uh, report data actually are different. But for for instance, for Experian, the the address is Experian Commercial Relations, PO Box five thousand and one, Costa Mesa, California ninety two six twenty eight five thousand one. So, or, or you can email business dis, business disputes plural at experian.com and uh, somebody will get back to you uh, expect response a response within uh 12 to 24 24 days okay that's how really uh quickly they can get back to you So here are our closing arguments. In today's conversation, I spoke to you about business credit. I gave you the basics, and now I'm giving you the closing arguments. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.